55 here. What up? What up? Dobby's dance clearly set out to destroy the faith of the people, but the ability to shut that down really manifested itself when the genus, the fourth rank hero in the country showed up. Because up until then, everything that Dobby said was, it appears to be true for all purposes. Even though he twisted the Hulk story, which we'll talk about a little bit later, that puts a hole in what he's saying. And so people can go, yeah, you said all this, but the genus is still alive. Or maybe the author is spinning to have genus confirm that Hawks tried to kill him. However, the villain's plans to destroy the people's faith as the hero society, while it may not be enough to wipe it out, this certainly has to shake up their faith. So when the villains were planning on destroying people's faith in the hero society, they clearly were not just talking about the physical destruction. At least Dobby wasn't. While the other villains didn't even know about it, Spinner said that, that he kept it hidden from them as well. But if you wanted to destroy faith for somebody, uh, revealing their past like that, that would probably help it. These villains in this series really have these ways of really wanting to make the hero suffer as much as possible. Dobby said the same thing that All For One said to All My During The Face. I thought about what you would hate the most. Like, these villains really want these heroes to suffer as much as possible. It's not like just some, some grudge in a way. They really want to torment them and torture them as much as possible. All for one said that to All Might, and now Dobby is doing it right here. And you see kind of Endeavor's entire effort to rebuild his life and in sort of a way fall apart right in front of him the, the genius of Dobby having this video ready to show at the worst possible time really shows you how dedicated these villains are in this series to making the hero suffer in his case it's his father for abusing him and thinking he's dead one of the things that really harm these heroes the most are their relationships and when we think about life that's true in our life as well right in the case of all might it was finding out that his master's grandson was shigaraki and you remember that all for one was smiling he put his, his fingers to his face <laughs> and kept uh saying where's the smile out just like all might's master did who was uh, Shigaraki's uh, grandmother, but he used that family connection to harm him as much as possible. And Dobby right now, to maybe shake All Might and to reduce his strength, is also using that family connection to harm him as well. What's even more interesting, which we didn't see coming, was Dobby doing the prominence burn when jumping off of Gigantamachia to attack him. And he, he, he was full of happiness. He was dancing on top of there. And with that attack, it really sears in the fact that he is Endeavor's son, not to mention the 99.99% .99 DNA test. And he recognized that people still might not believe him anyway, but the fact that he mentioned that fire quirks are a dime a dozen or, you know, something like that, there's, there's a small minority of them, it really seals that in. Could he be lying? Possibly, but if he was, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do much. And for all this time, I'm watching Dobby, I've been thinking he was like tied down in some lab and all this other stuff, but no, no. And of course, villains are still villains, so he might be lying, but you, you, you can kind of feel for Dobby, you know, someone who was physically abused, you, you might go to hate them, of course. In any case, Dobby has done an excellent job at hitting Endeavor in the hardest, worst way possible. He even mentioned that he thought about killing Shoto to bother him. And that's what makes these villains really villains. Like, they or maybe really human. Because the, the heroes are really human. We certainly see how Hero Hawks and Endeavor has been. Even Deku shows his uh, human side when he goes to grab uh, Shigaraki by his neck when he was going after... The way he grabbed his neck, it wasn't something it wasn't something you do when you're trying to restrain someone properly. He grabbed him by his throat with the purpose of like stopping him, like cutting off his ear supply. It isn't, and that's what I think makes these characters in My Hero Academia so entertaining to watch. They're very human. And then they, of course they have the exaggerated humors, but I mean, these villains are really villains but and they're not just villains for the sake of villains but when they do stuff like dobby's doing thinking about how to embarrass endeavor as much as possible 
and kill Shoto, the yeah. DNA test, oh, using his own father's emotions against him, and using the prominence burn to seal the deal. These villains really, they really think about how much they can harm these heroes mentally, emotionally, and physically. Dobby really hit the nail on the head when he said to him that you had some family moments, you had some time in the spotlight, and then he says, but you can't get over the past. Really driving it home as much as possible. Every sensitive sore spot that could be exposed, he exposed it. The overwhelming shock, all this damage done, got Gantra Machia there, and it was planned. It was clearly planned. That's why he brought the, the uh, villain with the, the laptop. Tomoyatsu. The author did such a great job foreshadowing all of this. It was all set up. I didn't see it coming. I, don't, I didn't hear anybody else mention seeing it coming. This was excellent. And Dabi did such a good job that even Endeavor's other children, the son with the white hair that uh, hates him, even him, even him, even he looked kind of shocked, and even they looked kind of like they, uh, even they looked like they felt bad for him. Like, yeah, we know he's messing up, we know he deserves, sh but don't destroy the man like this, you know. But on the other hand, looking at it from Dobby's side, who is the abuse victim, the rest of Endeavor's children, people who go through abuse and trauma. This, that that those nightmares that physical the memory of the physical abuse that just doesn't go away because someone reveals it to the world they still have to live with that for the rest of their lives i would know i'm a professional counselor so looking at it from that perspective you can't really blame them too much dobby also did a great job because endeavors the number one hero and Hawk's the second hero, and he's got a video of Hawk stabbing somebody in the back. And then revealing that his father committed robbery and that his father committed murder. Well, that and in certain societies in our world and culture, what a person does brings a lot of shame on their family and that reputation can affect them. So that's the idea there. I don't agree with that. You know, it's like it says, you know, in Ezekiel, the sins of the Father should not be held against the son, and the sins of the son should not be held against the father type of deal. But the other thing that Endeavor now has to deal with is if he doesn't fight his son, Dobby, then everyone in the hero society can be like, we can't trust heroes. He chose his son over us. But if there's videos of him beating him, then it's also like, well, how can you do that to your son after you did all of those things? Uh, it's that's it's really not uh, fun. No matter what he does, he's going to be criticized. If the author makes the society's reaction in the anime anything like social media, Endeavor's going to be ripped apart, right? They're gonna people are gonna rip them. They're gonna rip them apart. If it's anything like today's society and media, they're gonna rip him up. There'll be some people say, "Well, what he did was horrible, and it's terrible, and he should be punished for that." And truthfully, he should, right? Being the number one hero doesn't excuse you from child abuse. Technically speaking, a devil should be doing time in jail. But it's gonna other otherwise, not technically, he should. And then on the other hand, you're gonna have people who are gonna. Say, well, he reformed his life, he changed, and acknowledged that as well. And acknowledged, well, he still say he's a scumbag. In any case, uh, two shade to the Dobby and the League of Villains. 255 out. One.